What's up doll friends? I'm back with another Adventure Time custom doll and today we are transforming my old Golia into everyone's favorite vampire queen. First, let's make her wig. For Marceline's wig, we'll need three hangs of yarn. I know her hair is black but for photography purposes, I chose to use this nice navy blue color. And since Marceline has long hair, we are going to make... That's right, I know a lot of you have been wondering if it's possible to make smooth, long wefts out of yarn and the truth is, we can't. Or can we? If you're new to my channel, please check out how I make yarn wefts as it is important to the next step. When you get to this part, unloop the yarn from the plastic mesh. Then, untwist the middle to separate the fibers. Then press with a straight iron so it lays nice and flat. Now this part will make or break your long wefts. The technique is to work on one end at a time. Hold the middle tight while brushing the knots out so you don't pull out as many fibers or worse, break it in half. The same thing goes when ironing. The end result will be this. The length will be double the usual length. However, keep in mind that this will be very, very, very fragile, so handle it carefully and do not brush it from top to bottom, or you will be left with half of what you started. This is not a perfect technique yet and will require a lot of patience and practice. Also, the length results will highly depend on the brand of yarn you're using, so yeah, just FYI. Then we'll proceed on making a middle part wig. I have a detailed tutorial on how to make one so you can check that out for your reference. Also here I used a black sock for the wig cap so it matches the dark hair. At this point I ran out of long wefts so to finish the wig I'm using normal sized ones to fill the rest of the head. Just to give you an overview this is how fragile the long wefts are. As you can see, there are fibers sticking out, and if you try to pull it or brush them out, you'll end up pulling a bunch of it, so avoid touching it as much and just smooth it back in. Once you're done with the wig, take a few strands out in front and tie the rest with a thread. Then, carefully pull the sides. And the wig is done. Now let's move on to her face up. This Golia head is stained from previous face ups, so I sprayed it with a gray paint to even out her skin tone. However, the paint I chose was dark compared to her body, so I guess I'll just have to up my highlighting game. By the way, the materials I used in this video are all listed on the description box, so check it out for your reference.
Hextian suggested I dilute the gloss for easier application. So here I'm doing just that. Now let's work on her outfit. I'm going to try to remake this particular Marceline outfit. I'm going to make a shirt out of socks, which I learned from my froggy stuff. Make a pattern for the shirt and sleeves. Then turn the sock inside out and trace down the pattern. Next, do the sides. shoulders hem the front neckline cut the back open then sew a small hook on then hem the bottom of the shirt. For the sleeves, hem the bottom of the sleeves, fold, and sew the sides. Then turn it inside out. To attach the sleeves, insert it in the shirt's armhole and sew on the inside. Do the same on the other sleeve and the shirt's done. For the pants, I made a pattern out of this Rebecca shorts. Fold the cloth and trace the pattern. We'll keep the frayed edge at the bottom for a distressed look. Then sew this side and make two. Turn one inside out and insert it inside the other one. Then sew this part. Hem the open parts. Hem the top. Then glue on Velcro. Next, we put it on the doll so we can mark where her knees are and cut slits. Then use a pen to distress it. For her slippers, I'm going to use this Cleo Denial sandals and paint it black. And finally, we make her axe base. 
I simply cut out all the parts in illustration board and glue them together. I hope you enjoyed my version of Marceline. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more custom doll videos. Thanks for watching and see you on my next one. Bye!